Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Town Gaming. This is another video of Is It Worth It? Today we are going to be looking at the Sijic Ambrosia recipe. Um, just all overall Sijic recipes. And um, we're going to see if it's worth it to buy the recipe or to go out there and farm it. Now, the first stage, Sijic Ambrosia recipe. Now, I know on PC, these are really, really, really cheap. So, while, <laughs> while I say you should definitely just wait until you get the fragments, um, you do have to be provisioning 50. So, this has to be, I'll show you. This has to be all the way up. And you have to have six of six. You have to have basically all the way up. Now, you are going to get some Sidic fragments. So if you don't, if you're not in a hurry, necessarily, you could always just wait. But you do have to have your provisioning up to fifty. You do have to have um, the max, the six out of six on on this recipe improvement, and you have to be doing level 50 recipes on your wood or on your provisioning writs um now you could do it you could do it that way but i personally think on pc at least is a little bit better to just go out there and just get it yourself and then whenever you have the recipes you could always give it to a friend buddy girlfriend boyfriend husband wife whatever son daughter nephew it doesn't matter. Give it away to a random, you know, low level in, in, in the middle of Western Skyrim. It doesn't matter. Uh, but these are, they range anywhere from 1K to 4K in PCNA. And then on PS4 uh, NA, I know they're about 20-ish to 30K. That's still a good, you know, bit over there in PS4 NA. But you should be able to sell a couple of tempering alloys or a couple of draw wax and have that money to just get it. So would you be able to, is it worth it to just wait for the recipe? Uh, for Sidic Ambrosia recipe, the first recipe, is it worth it to get it? No, it's not worth it to get it uh, and to wait for it. It's just worth it to go over ahead and just pay the money and get it. So next step, next step. It's the other recipe, the, the Sigic Ambrosia, but it's the, um, what is it? The 100, the 100 recipe. So for that, <clears throat> for that recipe, this is what you need. And I'm going to show you a quick way to, there's a couple of ways to get it, obviously. So first of all, you go to Rollis Hulalu. This is the, the guy that will get you the stuff. So you have diminished ethereal dust. That's what you use to create the recipe. And let me see, where is this recipe here? There's the recipe, Ethereal Ambrosia recipe. Now, it's 250 rib vouchers. My suggestion is, and this is not necessarily the, the best suggestion if you want to to buy it but uh just get it with the money <laughs> just get it with the money um on pc right now these are going for about 300 and like 300k ish um you can find them for 250 or, or less or well 250 to 300k ish but like 300k i would suggest you buy it now another way you could do it is if you have um, if you have some circon platings and you have, or even like blue platings, 
Where is it? Where is it? You could do these. Obviously, not the triune ones. But um, you could always do these. You only need a couple of these to do it. Just craft the set. And just craft a couple of jewelry. You could do two purple jewelry craft writs. That's going to give you more than enough of the 250 um, writ vouchers. And then you can use the other leftover to just get the diminished ethereal dust. Um, it doesn't matter. But um, you could do you could do blue writ vouchers. They're about 25 uh, a piece. So you're going to need about 9-ish. Um, and then if you want to buy a diminished ethereal dust recipe, then or, um, the the item, diminished ethereal dust, then you're going to have to get that. So that's basically the, you know, the, the big thing. Like you can, you can always get it with vouchers. Um, you can pay the 250 to 300k. Which, I mean, it's still not bad. There's not that much, you know. That's that's not that much money necessarily if you know how to farm correctly. Um, if you do your writs every day, sell a couple of gold um, stuff and get it. Now, on, on console, I know on PS4 and A, like, usually it's 500 gold per one voucher. Um, and circum platings are really cheap. So the instead of spending, you know, the amount of gold that you're going to need for that recipe or the um or the such, just go ahead and do two purple rib vouchers. They're really cheap. Um if you have a guildie that can that can do it, they're they're going to help you out. You just do two of those and then you're set. And just get it from Rollis. You need a couple of circum platings, a couple of blue platings, and a couple of green platings. That's not too hard to ask. You can get it. You can go farm and get some of that. Do your writs, get some of that. Um, I just started on PC not too long ago, and I mean, I'll show you. I I have three chromium platings already. I have 30 iridium platings, 41 and 13. If I can do it, you can do it. You can definitely, most likely do it. So that's for the ethereal ambrosia recipe now for the mythic ethereal recipe the lowest i have seen on pc has been 3.2 mil um that is in my guild store the conquest of tamriel now on pc this is a lot higher than on console obviously on console you can get a mythic ethereal recipe for anywhere from 800 to a mil which um, I would highly suggest that is one thing that is it worth to just go farm the cipher. No, it's not. Even on PC, it is not worth it. That is something that if you stumble across it, then, you know, and you don't have it, obviously keep it and learn it. But if you have it, sell that punk up right away because it's not worth it for you to, um, to just go ahead and farm it. It's very difficult. You're going to need some very, very nice RNG to get that into your hands. Um, and then for the 100% recipe, you need to do vouchers basically, which I mean, you can either do one way or the other. Um, they're both very good ways. It really depends on if you're able to do vouchers uh, and purple jewelry, or if you just don't wanna do it and you just wanna spend money. I mean, sell a couple of gold stuff, spend money, there you go. But on PC, this is 3.2 mil. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, that's so much money. Yes, it is so much money, but guess what? There's ways to make gold. Flower picking, you know, find out what gear is hot right now. Like, Pariah is really hot on PC because proc sets came back in PvP. Some purple jewelry are selling for 200k a pop. Like, there's... All kinds of stuff selling prior selling everywhere I've sold a ton of stuff so there you go now that's gonna get you to that 3.2 mil that is this is one of the times that I said it is not worth it to go after the mythic ethereal ambrosia etheric cipher component because it is absolutely not worth it just go ahead and get it Let's the lucky RNGers that you know just say, "Hey, I picked up a cipher." 
let them pick up the cipher and sell it to you. Don't be the one that's like, I'm going to go after a cipher today because you're going to be either extremely lucky and get it or you're going to go quit and cry at a wall. That's not fun. So on PC and on console, I highly recommend you just get it. Just get it. It's not worth it. Not worth it to go farm it. Just pay the money. And if you if you need help with getting money, there's plenty of YouTube videos that Artea does that is going to help you how to make money. Like she is one person that can tell you how to make money. There's plenty of videos in our channel to show you some chess routes for gear that is going to make you money. Um, yes, you're going to have to make and do some work. Uh, but there you go. That's that's it is what it is. But thank you again for watching this episode of Is It Worth It? Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you really like this content and want to see more content like this in the future. And thank you guys for watching. Holla holla.